What's good, YouTube? Byron G back with another breakdown. Today I'm breaking down a beat called Daylight. Let's get into it. The first thing I did was use a Native Instruments plugin to create some chords called Stacks. The second thing I did was layer the chords using a VST called Augmented Voices from Arturia. Super simple, you know? After that, I used a VST from Output called Exhale created some chords just to kind of layer on top and create some more texture. I think that'll sound dope. Shorten that a little bit. Drag those out just a tiny bit. I wasn't really digging that sound as much, so I searched around and found something that would blend in a little bit because we're gonna be chopping this loop up soon. Now that we have all the elements to create our loop, let's export it and chop it up, baby. After that, I selected all of our chops. I turned up the attack just to smooth things out and get rid of that beginning click. All right, so let's... After that, I took our loop and I started messing with the pitch just because it's that easy with Serato Studio. Time to lay down our drums. I started with the hi-hats. Now it's time for the kick and the snare. I adjusted the swing to give it more of like a human feel and more of like a boom bap type of vibe. After that, I added a couple more snares on top because when I was playing it, my pads are super sensitive and I made a mistake and hit it twice on accident, but it actually came out kind of dope. See, now it's starting to come alive a little bit. Gotta add that sweet bass next. Next, I found a super dope one shot from your boy Cooking Souls Low Bat Bundle and added in just to break up the verse a little bit. And then from that same exact pack, I found some strings. And to be honest, it gave me like a Samurai Shampoo type of vibe, so I added that in too. But let's just lay that down first. Yeah. 
After that, I took those same exact strings and I pitched them from F down to C. Same thing on the second one. After that, for the hook, I layered more chords using Arturia's DX7V. All right, we're gonna layer this one more time and try and find a Rhodes to kind of go behind it. Since it was the hook and those chords kind of blended in, I found a different sound just to make it stand out a little bit more. Then I added some reverb to make it sit back in the mix a little bit more. Then the last thing I added was a little vocal chop into the drums just because I kind of like the sound of it. Okay, there's one last thing I wanted to do. Remember the augmented voices that we had originally when the first three instruments? Um, I wanted to kind of add that back because we lost a lot of it when we pitched the key down. Now this is where I would bounce out all the stems and just mix it in either Logic or Pro Tools, but here's the end project coming straight out of Serato Studios. 